Permettez-moi de le dire en français. Notre And gouvernement reconnaît French. la valeur de l'expertise des travailleurs de première ligne. Our government recognizes the expertise and experience of healthcare professionals and their contribution to the development of policies and programs across the country. We have heard the call from organizations that re represent nurses across the country. This includes those that are here with us today. This includes the Canadian Nurses Association and the Canadian Indigenous Nurses Association. In February, we launched a process to reinstate the role of Chief Nursing Officer. This is a federal level position. Today, I am very pleased to announce the appointment of Dr. Lee Chapman to this key, important role. Dr. Chapman is a registered nurse who got a Bachelor of Nursing from the Lawrence Bloomberg School of Nursing at the University of Toronto. She has over 20 years of experience leading nursing care, including at-home and community care, research, teaching, and policy including a regulation and professional practice. As Canada's Chief, Chief Nursing Officer, Dr. Chapman will represent and assist Canada with strategic viewpoints for nursing care and will take part in general policy development for the health care system. She will represent the Government of Canada in public forums in Canada and abroad. This valuable contribution will inform the Canadian government's work and make an important contribution to the provinces and territories. The aim is to increase and support the labour force in the healthcare sector. And this goes hand in hand with the strategies that I announced a short time ago at another health school nearby. Addressing the shortages of healthcare workers we are seeing across the country, and nurses are an integral element of that response. I'd like to share with you a quote from Florence Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing. May, he, may we hope that when we are all dead and gone, leaders will arise who have been personally experienced in the hard, practical work the difficulties and the joys of organizing nursing reforms and, will, and who will lead far beyond anything we have done. Well, I'm confident Dr. Chapman, Chapman will be an excellent leader in this context, as envisioned by Ms. Nightingale. I look forward, we all look forward, to learning from Dr. Chapman's expe extensive experience and insight and as we mark a new beginning for cooperation and cooperation with stakeholders at all levels. I am very confident that she will increase the visibility, the input and the influence of Canada's nurses at the national level. Together, along with our partners in provinces and territories, she will help us continue to address the critical issues that are affecting nurses and nursing across Canada right now while we work on the five areas of priority that we have identified commonly. A, reducing backlogs and supporting our healthcare workers, and particularly nurses. B, enhancing access to family health services and primary care. C, improving men mental health and substance use services. D, helping Canadians age with dignity closer to home. And E, using health data in virtual care to support healthcare workers. By focusing on these key areas, we will continue to deliver results in the best interest of all. Ensemble, avec les provinces et les territoires, Together with the provinces and territories, we have the duty to address the critical issues that are severely impacting and affecting nurses across our country. We look forward to taking advantage of Dr. Chapman's experience in reaching our goal. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Duclos, for this warm introduction.
I'd like to thank all of those who supported the reinstatement of this important role. Your commitment in supporting the need for a federal nursing voice, as well as advocating on the critical issues faces, facing nurses, nurses today in Canada is noteworthy. Nurses make up Canada's largest group of regulated health professionals. I look forward to providing a strong nursing voice uh, for all nurses and increasing the visibility of nurses at the national level. To do so, collaboration will be key. Nursing stakeholders, such as our colleagues here today from the Canadian Nurses Association, the Canadian Indigenous Nurses Association, and the Canadian Association of Schools of Nursing, play a crucial role in ensuring nursing in Canada meets the highest standards of care. I look forward to collaborating with educators, with regulators, and frontline nurses, among others, to strengthen the sector for both patients and nurses alike. I firmly believe that nurses make a difference in the lives of their patients and the healthcare system overall. Throughout my experience in acute care settings, as well as in the community and in academic settings, I've seen firsthand the difference that nurses make. Nurses also work closely with other healthcare professionals, such as therapists, and implement innovative technologies to improve patient outcomes. Supporting patient care puts us in a unique position in the team of healthcare providers to, put, to bring forward the patient voice. I recognize that there is significant work to do from a nursing perspective to ensure that we contribute to an accessible and safe healthcare system for all Canadians. I have a deep commitment to health equity and building a healthcare system reflective of all Canadians, especially marginalized and vulnerable populations. I'm humbled to have the opportunity to learn from and work with diverse groups to ensure their voices are heard. This includes those from Indigenous communities, racialized people, and two-spirit LGBTQ uh, groups. I once again thank you for this opportunity and look forward to working collaboratively with you to strengthen the health system and the nursing profession in Canada. Thank you. Miigwech. Merci.